and and uh, and that you know that was the whole. Uh, he he just took stuff from from that footage to make a little miniature video for every song. Most of them are just loops, you know. Right. Most places, people make me feel so good, you know. People are really warm, and you know, the New York show and the Toronto show and the. L.A. shows, they were all really a lot of fun, and I just couldn't get, I couldn't ask for a better reception from the people who were there, you know, the, um, it really, it makes me feel, you know, so proud to be alive and so proud that I've spent the last few years the way I have and dedicated myself to making myself a better musician the way I have. It really, uh, it makes it all so worth it when I go up on stage and, and make people happy. Especially the album Nearly God. Um, I I uh, I was real excited to meet him. And uh, when he realized who he was, he started telling me that I was the greatest guitarist in the world, and that he had just been saying to his friend that I was the best guitarist in the world, and and uh, and then and that he would love to work with me. And I said I would love to work with you. And so he came out and we recorded the stuff. You know? He would say like, uh, you know, I'm really doing this just for pleasure, you know. He, he's like, normally I work with people and it's business, you know. With this I feel like it's pleasure. And then like it's so obvious that, that it was business, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't work with people for business. It's been my experience that you can make a certain kind of music when you collaborate with somebody and when you think of them as an equal to yourself. You know, I would be in the studio with Tricky and uh, me and Flea would be playing something good, and Tricky would be just like, uh, I'll turn this off. I've got better stuff than this. All right, but, uh, you know, this stuff, we could turn that into something good, you know? It might not be as good as your other stuff now, but maybe we can turn it into something good. And be like, listen, I know what I want, you know? So, it's just like, I think, I think, I think me and Flea and Tricky would have been capable of doing stuff much better than what we did, you know. About a month before I joined the Chili Peppers this last time, I, um, Perry and Steven and a few, uh, and a few Yes Men were, uh, were recording a, uh, were recording, you know, Perry 
what was supposed to be Perry's album. And, uh, and so, so I went over there and I played on it. Again, it was one of those, you know, it kind of made me feel similar to how the Tricky thing made me feel, only, only I was less, only I was less confident in myself as a musician at the time, so I think it hurt me a little more, you know, when, when I went over there to work with Perry and I, I, you know, played the best I could play, but I had some other guy like, you know, jumping on, like, at the second there was any moment for any creativity, this other guy would just sort of jump out, oh, no, something needs to be written, I'll, I'll take care of it, you know. Like, uh, and I guess at a certain point he had Tom Morello add more guitar on the song, and, uh, and then, uh, and what, what there is on the record, I really don't hear myself playing at all. Perry's, you know, he's another person who just, like, telling everybody what to do all the time and and doesn't really doesn't really let the magic happen because he's always telling you what to do. Well, I don't want to just be in a band with somebody telling me what to do, you know. If I'm going to play music with people, I want people who who know what to do. I don't want to tell people what to do, you know. I want to I happy about the stuff that we've got. We've got great, you know, I, it'll be my favorite album. Yeah. <laughs> my skill has gotten better at a guitar player between the last album and now is uh, I've gotten much more into chords. A, a lot of my playing on the new stuff has has more dense kind of chords that you, it's less obvious what's going on. I, I, I hear more a, bigger energy in this stuff than is on the Californication. There's more, some of it's more rock and roll because there's also the 50s music is sort of an inspiring, has been inspiring me a lot in the last few months. I, I'm really happy about um, finding new ways of expressing, you know, of expressing these feelings, you know. Uh, I like it when each note really means something and I don't like it when it's the group of notes that means something. I just feel like it's my sort of uh, responsibility to uh, to play things where where it's the bottom of the ocean. I threw a bird at the sky. A someone told me that. It's an expression of freedom, not an expression of fascism.